Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I am your teacher, Christian Indaya. Our lesson for today is all about convection current. And at the end of the session, you are expected to describe convection current and explain what causes the tectonic plates to move. What causes tectonic plates to move? This is one of the main questions that has remained unanswered since Alfred Wigner proposed the Continental Drift Theory. The plate tectonic theory provided an explanation about the movement of the lithospheric plates. This theory evolved from the two former theories and was developed during the first decades of the 20th century. The Earth's lithosphere is divided into several plates. As you have already learned, these plates ride over the weak asthenosphere. There are three types of plate movements. These three types of plate movements are separation of two plates, collision of two plates, and sliding past each other. Using this figure, which of these shows a separation of two plates and what do you call to this plate boundary? Very good! Figure A shows the separation of two plates and it is called divergent plate boundary. Next, what plate boundary shows in figure B? And how do you describe this plate movement? Correct! Figure B is a divergent boundary, and it shows the collision of plates. And for figure C, it is known for what type of plate boundary? Perfect! Figure C is a transform fault boundary. In this boundary, the two plates slide past to each other. Next, let's try to answer these questions and identify whether the statements are fat or bluff. Do it for 90 seconds only. Time is up. Let's check your answer. Number 1. Scientists think that convection current flow in Earth's mantle. Is it a fact or bluff? Correct. It is a fact. Number 2. Heat is produced in the crust that produces convection in the mantle. Very good. The correct answer is bluff. The heat is produced in the Earth's core, not in the Earth's crust. For number 3, the mantle in the Earth continually heat up and cools down using convection current. What is the correct answer? Nice answer! It is a fact! Mantle material rises convection currents because heated materials become denser. Is it a fact or bluff? Exactly! This statement is a bluff because heated materials become less dense. And for the last number, convection causes the plate to move around. Excellent! It is a fact and you did a great job. Have you experienced going into an airport to welcome a relative from abroad? Have you seen the apparatus where the luggage of the travelers are placed? What do you call that device? Well, that is a conveyor belt. It is used to transfer a heavy object from one point to another. Below is a picture and an animation of a conveyor belt. Using the figure and animated conveyor belt below, Answer these following questions for 2 minutes. Your time starts now. You 
Your time is done. Let us check your answer. How is a conveyor belt related to the movement of lithospheric plates? The sliding of the plates is caused by the mantle's convection currents slowly turning over and over like a conveyor belt that moves the plates of the crust. Next. What causes the plates to move? The internal heat of the Earth's core causes molten rocks in the mantle layer to move. To have a deeper understanding why lithospheric plates are continuously moving, let's observe first the activity in the video about the convection current entitled Push Me Up and Aside. Just watch the video, make an observation, and answer all the following questions. Alright guys, so what we have set up here is uh, a basic model of the Earth's layers. Uh, we have the hot core underneath represented by these candles and we have the mantle represented by this uh, tin of water right here. I do need to make one thing clear. So the mantle is solid. This is water. This is a liquid. But the mantle is kind of like a flowable solid. It's like kind of like rock jello. It's solid but it can move. So we're modeling it with water here because obviously the water can move. Good? Yeah. Movable solids. Um, talk to me about the water directly above the flame and the the molecules in the water. It's probably hotter and more spread apart. Yeah, the molecules are going to spread apart a little bit. Um, so if the molecules spread apart where it's hotter, what's that do to the density of the water? Makes it less dense. Yeah, more people can talk here, guys. That's okay. Uh, I mean, this isn't going to po get posted on YouTube forever or anything. Um, so, if we have less dense stuff right above the heat source, what do less dense things do? They, well, they, to the they rise up. Oh. Less dense things rise, exactly. Oh. I'm going to demonstrate that for you here. This is uh, potassium permanganate. It's just going to color the water so you can see how the water is flowing. So I'm going to take just a little bit of it. And as I put this in here, I want you to pay attention to the direction that it shows the water moving. First of all, it's all going to sink to the bottom. That's not how the water's moving. That's just this stuff sinking to the bottom. But then it kind of uh, saturates into the water and you can see it moving a little bit. So we'll put this in. Get a nice good camera shot of that. So it's sinking down to the bottom. But now you're going to start to notice some movement of the water. And everybody, you guys can get close. Get in here. How's the water moving? Up. Why is it moving up? Because it's less dense. Because we're less dense right there. When it moves up as far as it can, what's it doing next? Pushing outward. Yeah, it's starting to push outwards a little bit. When it pushes all the way to the edge here, what's going to happen to the temperature? It's going to stay hot or it's going to start to cool down? It's going to start to cool down. Cool down, right? So what's going to happen to the density of the water if it cools down? Higher density. What do higher density things do? Sink. Sink. So we're going to start set up this flow where we rise up above the heat. It spreads out, and then it sinks down at the sides. And when it sinks down at the sides, it's going to get pushed back towards the heat. Is. So we're going to get something like this set up. Okay? What that is, that's called the convection current. It's movement of material, like the flowable solids in the mantle, because of differences in density because of heat source. Okay? Now let's go back to talking about Alfred Wegener. Why don't people believe him that the continents move? There's never enough so evidence. Oh, he's got tons of evidence. So slow. Nah, he but he's got evidence like the fossils and the mountain belts and the glacial evidence. He doesn't know how they move. He doesn't know how they move. We don't know about mantle convection yet. But now we see that there's this flow in the mantle. We're going to add the crust. The crust floats on top of the mantle. And if I put this in here, I'm trying to get him still to start. And we start to get some movement, and it's slow. But what are they doing? They're pushing apart. They're pushing, they're pushing them apart. Right. What's pushing them? The currents. Currents where? The, in the mantle. In the mantle, which are there because of mantle convection. There's yes. convection currents in the mantle that push these plates around. So now, Alfred Wegener comes, well, Alfred Wegener's dead at this time. But people come back to his theory and say, we have a way for the continents to move now. Mantle convection, the mantle material pushing them around. Specifically here, uh, what kind of boundary would I have where these are pushing apart? 
divergent. I'd have a divergent boundary. If I had another heat source over here and like a long thing of water, I could make a convergent boundary. If I had a way more complicated setup, I could make a transform boundary. But the idea here, the main point is Mansell convection is the driving force behind plate tectonics, behind movement of the plates. What drives the Mansell convection? Heat. Heat. Heat from where? The core. The core, exactly. And then it moves the mantle material around. That pushes around those crust plates. Good? Yeah. That's it. All right. We're done watching the video, and it's your time to answer the following questions and illustrate your observation. And after 10 minutes, we will check your answer. Ten minutes is done. We will check your answer. Guide question number one. How does the food coloring behave? Food color rises and moves to the sides of the beaker, then sinks. Guide question number two. What do you call this behavior? Convection current. And for the guide question number three, what happens to the blocks? What does this resemble? Very good. The small light wood blocks resemble the lithospheric plate or the tectonic plates that move about slowly because of the convection current. In our activity, you have observed that heat can be transferred from one place to another through a process known as convection. This type of heat transfer is usually observed among fluid molecules. Fluids expand and become less dense when heated. In effect, less dense fluid rises away from the heat source. As it rises, it cools down and becomes denser fluid and pulls down to replace the hot fluid. As the pulled fluid becomes heated, it also rises and pulls down more cool fluid down to replace it. This means that once the hot less dense particles cool down, they sink and the other less dense particles rise. This continuous process is called convection current. This is exactly what happens in the Earth's mantle. According to him, using Wigener's observations, I suggested that as the mantle became heated, its density decreases and eventually rises up. When the material cooled, it would sink exhibiting a certain behavior that looked like a conveyor belt. The pressure heated magma broke the continents apart, forcing the pieces to drift in opposite directions. I also speculated that when the material sink, continents will be brought back together again. Now, take a look in the figure. As presented in a conveyor belt model and a convection current activity entitled Push Me Up in the Side, tectonic plates are moved passively by convection currents in Earth's mantle. Mantle rocks near Earth's core become extremely hot, making them less dense than the cooler mantle rocks in the upper layers. In effect, the hot rocks rise and the relatively cooler rocks sink, creating slow vertical currents within the mantle. This convection circling within the mantle-like conveyor belts. The convection currents push the magma up, forming new crusts and exerting a lateral force on the plate, pushing it apart to create seafloor spreading. Now that you understand what happens inside the Earth and its effect on the Earth's lithosphere, you should be able to realize that the tectonic activities in the Earth's surface are inevitable. You should view the Earth as a dynamic planet and still the most fascinating planet for it offers you a home that no other planets can. To summarize what you have learned in today's lesson, 
Mantel convection is a driving mechanism for plate tectonics. It occurs because of the heat produced in the core. The convection currents rotate very slowly as they move and drag the plates along. Because of convection current, the tectonic plates are able to move slowly along the tectonic plate boundaries, pushing each other, sliding past each other, and drifting away from each other. Alright, to measure all the learnings you had learned in our lesson, we will have a short quiz. To do our quiz, please click the short quiz in our Google Classroom and answer it for 5 minutes, then submit. And if you want to see your score, just click the view button after submitting your quiz, then you can have now the results of your assessment. So let's start now. Your time starts now. Time's up? Okay. Later, I will verify your answer and once I returned it to you, it means that I already recorded your score. This time, click the assignment in our classroom and do the remaining task there, then submit it until tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the morning. If you don't have any question, you can start now answering your assignments. I hope you enjoy and learn something today. This is Christian Indaya. See you in our next lesson. <music> <music>